All right, so we've got two different scenes here in Kick-Ass. And we're going to come back to this one. We're going to start with this scene here. Okay, I'm just going to play it. I don't have any dialogue for this particular scene. What this is, for those of you who have seen it, you'll recognize this scene. But um, um, in this scene, real quick about the movie for people who haven't seen it, it's, it's people in our world. Okay, and this kid gets this crazy idea that why aren't there superheroes? So he decides to become a superhero. He's got no powers. He's nothing. Okay, um, he does develop because he gets beat up really bad. He ends up getting his nerves severed, so he actually doesn't feel any pain. But other than that, he has no powers. And he's going out, going up against the mob. But in this scene, he and one of the other heroes are being held a hostage. And there's a girl, a girl hero in here called Hit Girl. And she's about to, the lights have just gone out, she's going to put on some night vision goggles, and she's going to go take out the bad guys. Okay, so that's what we've got here, is we've got the scene of, you know, her perspective, of her just walking around, looking at all the different bad guys, and then there's actually her uh, with a weapon. Okay, so what we need to do with this is very simple. We need to make this look like She's got some night vision goggles on, and these are high-tech night vision goggles, so they're going to go through like a boot-up sequence where they're actually going to come online, okay? So we're going to build that. And what I've done here just to make it easy um, is, you know, I've just got these little locators in here that kind of tell me these little yellow things are just my little locators that say, hey, what goes here, you know? Just because, you know, when I built this, I built this for other people to work with, so I gave them little, little tidbits. So... In Media Composer, it's very easy to have a bin that has, you know, just some of my templates in here. So these are just my effects. You saw, actually I can show you how to do it. If I come in here, and we'll drop a little effect on this guy here real quick. I'm just going to drop a 3D warp on this piece here. Okay, there's my 3D warp. If I go into my effect editing tool set, bang, there's my 3D warp, and I can come in here and scale this down and make it over there. Okay, great. And of course, hit play and it plays. If I like that effect, okay, this little effect icon right here, I can just drag this and drop it into a bin, and that's saved. Okay, that's how easy it is to save an effect parameter. And that's all we did here, was we just saved some of our, you know, favorite effects that we're going to need to use to build this. Okay, and this is really very easy to build some neat stuff with this. So let's go back to my source record editing. And here's what we're going to do. So the first thing we've got is we've got this little section here. So this is going to be the boot up scene. So the first thing that's going to happen is kind of like an old TV where when you first turn it on, you start to see like the little scan lines. So what we have here is we have a very simple little effect. It's a, it's a uh, top to bottom effect. And all it is is it's a little wipe that goes from the top to the bottom. Okay. And if we look at the parameters on that really quickly, we can just see, you know, that's all it is. It's a bottom top wipe, okay? So I'm going to put that on the next three little edits. So I'm just holding on the shift key, selecting on those, and I double click, and it's applied it to those next three shots. So now we've got, okay? So we kind of got that roll going on, right? Don't worry about the time code. We're going to get rid of that in a minute, okay? Now the next thing we've got is now that it's kind of rolled, it's going to lock in. So we're going to do this like a little image shake where it kind of like resizes a little bit. And all I did was I took our, our zoom tool, okay, our resize, and I'm just going to drag that, drop that on this shot here. Okay. So we've got our resize there. Okay. And all that's doing is just kind of zoop, squeezing it in and squeezing it out. Okay. So now if we play this, of course, you know, you'll notice... Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So that's the first part of our boot up sequence. But we've got that time code. So we're going to hide that real quick just using an anamorphic mask. So I'm just going to come over here, click on my shots. Okay. And actually, we're just going to double click on the anamorphic mask. Bang. And we're going to put it on this guy too. So we can just, or we can just drag and drop things as well. So it doesn't matter how you do it. Okay. So there we go. So now we've got zoop, zoop, zoop. There's our little boot sequence. The other ones here, don't worry, those are going to get lost in a minute. I don't need to put a mask on those because I'm going to do something different, okay? So there we go. So next thing we need is we need some electronic noise because we want to have some static. So sitting out on my desktop here, I have a little QuickTime movie. Doo -doo -doo. And it's called Video Sash, okay? 
And that's all it is, is just some noise, okay? So we'll just get rid of that. So we can bring that in a couple different ways. One of the things that we've introduced a couple years ago was something called AMA, Avid Media Access. So AMA stands for Avid Media Access. It gives me native support for all different types of things, okay? We started with XDCAM and P2. We then added, you know, XDCAM EX, XDCAM SR, we've got AVC Intra, we've got ProRes, we've got QuickTime, RED, um, AVC HD is the latest. And what that means is it's not just, you know, being able to recognize the file format, it's also the metadata. So when you bring in a file, you will get all the information with it. And I'll show you a little bit about that when we get into 3D, because metadata is very important in 3D. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over here. I'm going to say File, Link to an AMA file. I'm going to go to my desktop, and I am going to choose that QuickTime movie and just say Open. Bang. And there it is. It's got a little link icon on it, so I know it's linked. So it hasn't been imported. It hasn't been converted. I'm actually playing that QuickTime movie right inside Media Composer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put these up on my second video track. So I'm just going to come in here, and I'm going to go into my segment mode here, and I'm going to mark it in and out, and I'm just going to drag this guy, drop him right there. And the reason I'm marking in and out is that what that does is as soon as I bring it in, you'll see that little outline. That's showing me how long that clip is. Okay? But if I bring it to the in and out, it shortens it. It says, hey, you must want to do a three-point edit. So it's going to shorten it based on my in and out point. And oh, by the way, if I hold down that control key now, it's snapping it to the tails instead. So I'm just going to drop that guy in there. And we'll grab a little bit different up here. We'll come in here. Same thing. Drop that in. Oops. Drop that one in there. Just two more to do, folks. Drop that one in there. And we got one more here. And we'll drop it in there. There we go. Okay, so now when we play this, kind of what we're looking for, but not exactly. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we want to see through that. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to select all these guys. We're going to do one, two, three, four, five of them. And I'm going to just apply a straight Luma key. Double click on my Luma key. And we can play this now. Now we got the noise. Now we're getting there, right? Okay. So next what we want to do here, very simple. Okay, of course, night vision. What does everybody know about night vision? When you know you're looking at something in night vision, what are you looking at? Green. Great. So what I got here is I got a simple color effect. And this is a neat thing. So we can put effects. So this is just a color effect. It's not a video element. It's purely an effect. I can just drag that and drop that on a track. So what I've done here is if you look at this, I don't know if you can see that word right there. That says filler. Way in the back, I know you can't. I can put effects on empty tracks. Okay, so I can put effects on filler tracks. So what that's done is that's turned everything green. All right, so there we go. That's green. Cool. All right, next thing we need is, um, you know, she's looking through goggles, so we kind of need to make it look, you know, monocular almost. So I've got just a little... Um, TIFF file here. Okay, you can't see it because it's got an alpha channel on it. So what we're going to do is just come in here. Again, we'll drag this, drop this into my timeline. Okay. Okay, so now you can see where we're going. So now we've got kind of them in that view. The next thing I've got is I've got a little um, sequential targets that came in here. They're a little, you know, readout. So again, we'll just take this guy and we'll drop him up on the top track here. Boom, there we go. And then the last thing we've got is we've got our visors, okay? So this is just a Photoshop file. Again, I'll just drag that, drop that on the top track, okay, hit play. You can see, there we go. So very quickly, built up those effects, very quickly, easy. The last thing we need to do is actually we've got to do our little key here, okay? So I come over here, I'll just drop my key on there. Boom, and there we go. So we're able to quickly, you know, pre viz all of this. And let me see here. I can even drop my quality down here, so if I want to really, let's see what happens here. 